of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening and welcome to the Gilbert Selectman's meeting of Wednesday, April 25th, 2012. This meeting is being videotaped for the purpose of showing over the cable television public access channel. Just a quick announcement, reminding everybody that there is a residential spring cleanup days are occurring right now, April 21st through April 29th, 2012, at the recycling center. We have a motion concerning the review approval of minutes. I move we approve the minutes of April 12, April 11, 2012 as printed. Second. Having a first and a second, is there any questions or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. I move we approve the consent agenda of the previously signed documents from the period 4-9-2012 to 4-20-2012 as printed. Second. Having a first and a second, is there any questions or comments? None. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. We'll move on to appointments. PBW Director Sheldon Morgan. Good evening, Sheldon. Good evening, all. I hope everybody didn't turn out just for me. I'm sure they didn't. Could I uh, approach and hand please, out some Please, people? thank you, Sheldon. Don't you go with the screen. What I'm giving you is my routine programming for projects and a little information on how we fit through the winter months. Again, I want to thank the board for the opportunity to address you and appreciate your time. Give you a, a quick update, and it will be quick. I know you have a busy schedule this evening on uh, what we're doing. We're into our spring season, as you well know. Um, the long handout is our project list of 34 of the most relevant or important issues that we have before us at the time. There are others <coughs> somewhat less important that I chose not to put on there, but keeps us busy to say the least. On the uh, attachment just prior to that, I get questioned quite frequently on, because it was such an easy winter uh, visually, whether or not we saved a lot of money because of that. And what I've given you is a breakdown of the last three years. 2009 to 10, 2010 to 11, and 2011 to 12. And if you jump all the way to the bottom, after going through the purchases, the overtime, and the sand uh, that we also purchased, as it turns out, 2011 and 12 was the least expensive of the three years. Um, partly because of the temperature variations, we didn't have a lot of rain but we had enough so that we had reasonably low snow amounts. Um, I don't know if that's a trend that's gonna continue or not, but I'll keep the board appraised if things really change. I mean, we had 21 storms this year, about 53 and a half inches of snow with almost two inches of rain. Previous year, we had 106 and a half inches of snow with virtually no rain, just to show the uniqueness of our weather cycles. Um, we've only spent 23% of our winter account, so that bodes well for the fall when it gets here, and hopefully I'm not expecting snow early. I'm expecting it very late, but we'll see. Uh, a while back, the board had discussed with us the ability to use uh, correctional folks, and as of this month, in partnership with the police department, because they kind of help us get the folks here and we bring them back, uh, we have two people that have been working with us, different people from time to time, but, but two inmates to come in and 
to a lot of our regular work that we would otherwise either have to do ourselves or hire out. And that's worked out well for us as a public works agency. Um, they're always available for other departments if they have the need for them. And as time goes on, we may even try to get a third person in, because I think that uh, any time you can use those folks, and, and these are good folks to use in the scheme of things. Uh, they really do make a difference from my perspective. Uh, obviously, we're busy, and as you mentioned at the beginning of the meeting, we're winding down on our spring cleanup. Interesting to note, uh, we were ready for a full complement of uh, material to be brought before us. And as it turns out, we've got a lot less than we've had in previous years. Don't know why. I'm not sure I care why, but um, in the scheme of things, we, we don't have the amount of material coming in this year that we typically have. I'm guessing that the economy is part of that. But be that as it may, um, a couple of days left. Yeah, we could get <laughs> surprised this weekend coming up. And uh, one other item is that, as we've attempted to do in the past, and we'll do again this year, is give you an update on our 10 year road maintenance plan that we're hoping to have for you uh, very soon. What you've read in the paper and heard about on the single stream effort um, doesn't, doesn't really come as a surprise that. Our largest co-op member has decided to back out of the single stream initiative and in doing so has given us concern. We have not met yet as a group to determine what our next action may be, but obviously the impact uh, could be sufficient to um, derail the whole effort. And I can't say that with any certainty at this point, but it's something that the co-op we'll be looking at and making a decision very quickly because we, we have to do something right off. So we're not going to be sitting on that too long. Uh, from a health department standpoint, we were all sick this winter, most of us. And as that winds down, we are now getting into a very aggressive tick season. And part of that is because we didn't have a really cold winter kill off the tick population as would typically happen. So we caution everybody to be careful when you're out in the woods or out in tall grass to take the proper precautions and check yourself repeatedly because uh, you can go quite a time without seeing them. And while we do not have an infestation of the disease ticks, it's always uh, beneficial, I think, to be cautious. And the last thing I'd like to say is, is I want to take just a moment to personally thank everybody for my surprise party. And usually I do not get surprised. I pride myself on being able to spot things and I get no clue. Uh, my family thanks you, I thank you. And uh, we'll see what the next few years brings. With that, I will answer any questions you may have. Uh, a couple questions, Sheldon. What is the story with the Alba Wilson Road Bridge Rail? The concrete is curing, and I believe the rail is the next to install. Any idea why? I do not. Um, I was out of town most of today. I will put a call in the morning, we'll find out the status, and let you know. And you'll have to remind me, what are we doing about the Lakeshore Road Bridge? Uh, that, if all goes well, would be <clears throat> planned to go out to design, so we have it on shelf ready to go. Okay. And finally, do you have a paving schedule for the summer yet? Paving um, reconstruction schedule? For the total projects, I do not. For the tops, as soon as they can get in here and free themselves up, we'll put a top on Gunstock Hill Road and Swain Road, which only have the base added to them. And hopefully from there, we'll go into a more uh, construction type role. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I've already been to the cleanup at the uh, recycle center and everybody's been helping and really appreciate your crew for doing that. I also wanted to extend my thanks to you and to Scott Davis and to Scott Dunn 
uh, in the warming hut uh, this past weekend. Nobody slammed their hand or anything, which is a good thing, um, but it's on its way to being replaced. So thank you both for your time and to Scott uh, for kind of supervising. Thank you. Okay, just once again, I'm sure that on behalf of Town of Guilford, thank you very much for 40 years of dedicated service. It's always a pleasure to deal with you. And it's very hard to have you say no to anybody in this town. So thank you, Sheldon, for everything that you do for us. Thank you very much. By the way, by the way, I got a kick out of Scott's comment. Uh, he said you were talking business all the way till you got up by the hamburgers. <laughs> That's what I so it, it was really a, a good one on you. <laughs> yeah, I. No I idea. Had no clue. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Thank you. We'll move on to another old business of selectmen schools and objectives. We have a list of select and schools objectives that we've worked on. I would like to uh, move that we accept that list and authorize Scott to work on it, but I'd like to also keep it open-ended so that we can add and delete from it during the course of the year as we see fit. Second. Having a person a second, is there any other questions or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Clock TV.